In this video, I'll show you how to use motion control with your microbit. Your microbit contains a device called an accelerometer that can detect motion like tilting or shaking, and you can use it as an input in your program. If you need to learn how to set up your microbit for the first time, check out the first video in this tutorial series, linked in the video description. To write our program, we're going to use a new event block available from the input menu called OnShake. If you drag this block out into your program, you'll see that it has a drop-down menu that lets you select a variety of different orientations and motions for your microbit. Just like we did with the buttons in a previous video, you can program whatever action you want inside the OnShake block. So far, we've only been talking about the LEDs, but your microbit has a small built-in speaker and can also play a variety of sounds, so feel free to experiment with those if you want. For now, let's just write a very simple program that displays an icon on screen when we shake the microbit. I'm just going to use the default heart icon. You'll see that while you can't really shake the microbit in the simulator in your web browser, it adds a shake button that you can click to simulate shaking. When I click the button, it will show the heart on screen. However, I haven't done anything in my code to tell the microbit to clear the screen, so the heart icon will stay there forever after I shake the microbit just once. If I just want to show the heart icon on screen briefly each time I shake the microbit, then I can add a pause block from the basic menu, followed by a clear screen block. Now, each time I click the shake button, the heart icon will just show on screen briefly and then disappear. So I can make it appear again by clicking the shake button a second time. Here's that same code running on the physical microbit. We can see that the on shake event block doesn't run unless I shake the microbit hard enough. If I just wiggle it back and forth slowly, the heart does not display. Now, experiment with the other options in the drop-down menu for different motions and orientations. For example, try using two different blocks to make the microbit show something different on screen depending on its orientation. I'm going to have a smiley face when the microbit is vertical with the logo up, and a frowny face when the microbit is horizontal with the screen up. We have instructions for a science project on our website about how you can use this code to make a wearable fall detector. You can move your mouse around to simulate tilting the microbit in your web browser, but it's best to test these programs on your physical microbit. Again, here's that code running on the physical microbit, where you can experiment to find the transition point between what it considers tilted up and tilted down. In a future video where we learn more about the accelerometer, you'll find out how you can get the exact angle of the microbit's tilt and use that value in your code. You can experiment with the different blocks. For example, here's another program that uses the tilt left and tilt right options to show left and right arrows depending on which way you tilt the microbit. Again, you'll want to run this on the physical microbit to see how far you need to tilt it in the real world. You can also use the on 3G, 6G, or 8G options to make the microbit do something when acceleration above a certain threshold is detected, where 1G is Earth's gravity, or 9.81 meters per second squared, so 3G is three times that, and so on. Note that this one does not have an option in the simulator. You probably don't want to drop your microbit, at least not without a protective case, but you can experiment with tapping it to detect these different acceleration thresholds. In this video, we explored how to use the basic motion detection event block. In the next video, we'll explore how you can use the actual acceleration and rotation values from the accelerometer to write a more advanced program. Check out the links in the video description for the rest of our microbit tutorial series and lots of fun science projects you can do with a microbit. For hundreds of other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a new project. Thank you for helping us inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers.